the journey of a railway professional is filled with opportunities to grow professionally and at the same time forge a friendship that will last. I don't think my interest in engineering was that obvious when I was young. Although I recall that I enjoyed building things and seeing how things work. I joined SMRT as a maintenance engineer back in 1997. I wanted to be part of an organisation that plays a pivotal role in Singapore's development and progress. As the managing director of SMRT Thomson East Coast Line, I lead and manage a team of 1,200 staff that are responsible for the operations, maintenance and project integration of Singapore's newest MRT line. Sharin is indeed outstanding. He is special in many ways. Although coming from very humble, modest background, a graduate of Polytechnic, but his drive was so strong that he went on to do his bachelor's degree in Australia and when he came back to do his master's in NUS. So you can see in him that drive, which I think will be very inspirational to many others. My childhood was filled with lots of fun. And as the eldest in the family, I had to help out my dad in his provision shop. Looking back, that experience has taught me that nothing worthwhile comes without an effort. And so that instilled in me the values of hard work, responsibility, and independence. I think if you look at Shahrin's involvement in the community, it shows that he has shown a lot of commitment. I mean, he has excelled in his uh, work. I think that's one aspect, but I think his involvement in the community is something that's outstanding. Your care for the people, walking the ground always, and motivating people to always be their best. And also, his very high energy contribution in the volunteer work, which he does a lot. All right, I think he really bring a lot of benefits to the community as well. I must thank SMRT for grooming me, not just in engineering, but also in leadership and management. Recognizing diversity, respecting everyone, working as a team, be the kind of leader that creates other leaders by engaging to empower with empathy. Having the right character, having the competency, Having clarity and the courage is always about a team. Being recognised with Berita Harian's Achiever of the Year Award is a humbling experience. Reinforcing the belief and the action of giving back to inspire others to do more. With this award, it reaffirms this journey of mine shall continue for the better. Inshallah.